Hey everyone, Dr. Dale here. Real quick, just going to go through some information that I feel the public should know about. I've been seeing a lot of anti-anti-vaccine uh, articles and media out there. Um, seen on Time Magazine that uh, they said anti-vaxxers, uh, if you want pure nature, enjoy a dying early or dying young is what they've said. That's pretty mean. Um, and what they're doing is they're using a lot of misinformation. And this is some stuff that I want to just put out there, some articles and information that I want you to see so that you can critically think about what's going on and see the lies that are right in front of your face. Here is one, I pulled this example from 2012, Forbes magazine, anti-vaccine movement causes the worst whooping cough out epidemic in 70 years. So the title blames people who don't get the vaccine but in the middle of the article, if you actually read the article, it says that outbreak indicates that the effectiveness of the booster shot may not last very long. Also, Bordetella pertussis is mutating to make the vaccine less effective, according to the CDC. So the CDC admits the vaccine is not working very well. Um, another article along that same lines is New England Journal of Medicine. This is on Associated Press, whooping cough vaccine wears off too fast. And again, it says, while some parents around the country have taken a stand against childhood vaccines, the outbreak is not being driven by unvaccinated children. According to the CDC, most of the illnesses are in vaccinated youngsters. So it's actually the vaccinated children who are getting sick more often. So um, just critically think about that. Also, here's one along that whooping cough uh, line is this right here, just published November 25th, 2013. And again, you can find this in Associated Press. It says, whooping cough vaccine may not halt the spread of the illness. You know, and I pull this one up because in Colorado, I heard that uh, legislators and government officials are now mandating, I guess, or want parents to sign a document that if they cho chose not to vaccinate their children, they'd have to sign a document that said they understand that they are putting the population and their child at risk. Parents, please do not sign that document because in essence, what you're doing then is you are saying on paper that you understand you're putting your child at risk. That's in essence child neglect. I think our government officials should have used their own government study. They are government officials and our government paid for this study. The FDA paid for a study to figure out, again, why the CDC says the vaccine doesn't work anymore, why we're having outbreaks. But what they said here was the FDA did a study, they used baboons, they injected them with the whooping cough vaccine. They said that the baboons didn't get sick, but they had high levels of bacteria in their respiratory system for five weeks. That suggests they were contagious for about that long. They say it's, that's a big deal, finding, because it was thought that people only spread the disease when they had coughs or other symptoms. Okay, so what that means is you may have got the vaccine, but you don't have this cocoon around you. You don't have this wall where bacteria gets to three feet of you and smack into this invisible force field. That's not the way it works. Even if a vaccine actually worked, okay, it would just give you a prior exposure, meaning your immune system would already recognize the infectious agent, the bacteria or the virus, and you'd fight it off faster or easier. But you can still spread it. So it, it, it's very bad that uh, these media outlets are blaming people who don't get the vaccine, when in the FDA study states that it's the vaccinated people spreading it around, in essence. So know about that. Another one, just take a look at this. This is a court document. You know the, the, the mumps outbreaks in Ohio? Ohio State, mumps outbreaks. Just read the court document right here is what I would say. Um, maybe this is why we got outbreaks. United States District Court class action complaint uh, against Merck and Company. So this is Cheatham Primary Care. So these are medical physicians filing a lawsuit against Merck. Merck is the makers of the only vac mumps vaccine in the United States. What they said was Merck for unlawfully monopolizing the U.S. market of mumps vaccine by engaging in a decade-long scheme to falsify and misrepresent the true efficacy of the vaccine. Here's how they did it. This is fraud. This is illegal. They broke the law and they put people at risk. What they said was they incorporated the use of animal antibodies to artificially inflate the results. But even after that failed to achieve Merck's fabricated efficacy rate, they falsified the test data to guarantee the results as desired. And what they did was they were able to say, hey, look, our vaccine is 98% effective, 99%. That's what they claim. They claim it's that effective. 
So what they said, if all these other companies can't make a vaccine as effective as ours, our vaccine should be the only one sold to Americans. Now they're being, uh, they have a class action lawsuit against them. So uh, that's just information I feel like the public should know. I hope you take that and think on it for a little while. Thank you.